Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Jimmy Perry from Powerlifting.website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And my phone just got very dark because I'm recording this on my phone. I don't have some type of fancy camera yet. It's not important. I'm mobile. It works for me. <laughs> all right, today I'm here to answer five different questions that I saw. They're pretty random, but they're answerable. Uh, and they all pertain. This time they all pertain with to the bench press. They're actually all on um, a section I put on the website, which is uh, bench press FAQs. Um, so, the first question is: How much training will be required to bench press a thousand pounds without steroids and a bodybuilder like uh, appearance? Um, now, the answer to that is basically it's literally impossible to quantify that. Like, how the fuck? Um, how? Like, how do you expect someone to be able to? How do you expect me to know, or anyone to know, what, how your body is going to react to your training and how long it's going to take you? I don't even know where you're at at this moment. Like, it makes no sense. Um, it's just, I'm not, like, I'm not talking to the dude who ever answered the access directly. It's just kind of difficult for anyone to quantify something like this. Like, you didn't even tell anybody where you started at on your bench press. So, these questions have to be more, you know, descriptive, or have to have a little bit more description. But, um, as an example of this, well, an example is, um, the current world record holder for the bench press weighs about 300 pounds, and he has a world record of 1,075 pounds for an assisted bench press, which means a shirt, like, um, equipment, right? Uh, it took him, obviously, it took him several years to work up to that weight, uh, safely, and at, at 300 pounds, at a natural, I'm assuming that's not his natural body weight, and I don't know if he took steroids or whatever, uh, that's just not safe anyway. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, and then the thought you also got to consider that the dude is benching a thousand pounds, so that's not safe. It's way out of the norm. Anybody doing anything in excess like that is out of the norm, it's not safe, but yeah. So, I mean, he doesn't look like a bodybuilder, so I don't know if you'll be able to like a bodybuilder and still be able to bench that kind of crazy weight, but it, I mean, I guess it depends on your genetics and how you respond to your own training. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's all up to you, very hard to quantify that. Um, is it next is the, is, is the Smith machine bench press as effective as the barbell bench press? Um, it completely depends on what you mean by effective. Uh, is the bench, is the Smith press machine bench press as effective for strength training as it is, as the barbell is? No, because it's an assisted, it's, a, it's an assisted bench. Like you're not doing anything. And I'm telling you this because I worked at a, a PF. I'm not going to Planet Fit, like Planet Fitness doesn't have barbells, the ones that I went to, and like they have Smith press machines, and it obviously is not for a strength athlete or a strength training individual, but I mean, I didn't get any stronger working on those machines, I got relatively strong, I got stronger, but not like, being able to hit a 250 pound, not that this, my bench is like too, uh, not very low, but it being able to hit a 250 pound bench press, on a Smith press machine is much different than the 250 pound bench press on a flat, like a barbell. So that's just something to keep in mind. Cause it's assisted. You have like those little gears on the side that are able to help you like push the weight up. You're not doing anything. It's not, you're not even stabilizing anything for real. Seriously. So, I mean, no. Um, now is it good for hypertrophy? Researchers say, yeah, I mean, I, I do, I, I, I do, I am able, since I am able to get a little bit of um, help from, the, I'm able to get a lot of help from the little, um, I don't know what they're called, but the things on the side, uh, I am, I'm able to focus a little bit more on my chest area, so I have left the bench press, that, that bench press with a little bit of pump, whereas with the flat bench, I'm not really able to get a pump, so, yeah. Um, are there any substitutes for the decline bench press is the next question and the answer to that is yes i found this this is a guy his name's he owns um bodybuilding.com i think his name's jim stepani um i hope i pronounced his last name right but yeah basically the bridge position i put a link out to a youtube video he did on there you can use the br bridge position is basically um you're doing a hip thrust a long a long you're basically keeping your hips uh, thrusted out or extended out and you're benching like that it's very difficult i'm assuming i've never done it because it's like uh, i've never needed to but um that's one example you can do also you can do the um decline with anything flies dumbbells whatever um what are some tips and hacks for the bench press is the next one and for this basically this gives you a step-by-step -step, um step-by-step -step whatever of how what to do when you're bench pressing 
a few of these are keep your straight wrist um, use your leg drive correctly wait to flare your elbows out that actually helped me because I always kept my elbows kind of tucked in and you're not really supposed to do that you're supposed to keep you flare your elbows out at the end not when you're like you don't want to start the bench with your elbows like this you want to start it with them tucked in and then you go out as you press up I didn't do that so that helped me um, hold off on pinching your shoulders together I don't do that but that's one thing and then don't forget the pause obviously you're powerlifting so you want like in a meet you're gonna you're gonna have to pause so in, in um, practice you want to you're gonna want to pause I'm gonna put a video to a um, athlete in X he's a major dude in the um, fitness industry I'm sure you've heard of him. I mean, I'm trying to, not trying to catch up to him, but his videos, his uh, channel, YouTube channel is pretty huge. I'm assuming his business is pretty huge also. So, yeah. And then, how much rest should I take between bench press sets? I mean, that's pretty, it's up to you, but a general rule of thumb is three to five minutes. I don't take that long, personally, but that, it's not up for me. It's really coming from research. It's supposed to come from research for three to five minutes. I, I personally, though, only rest for like a minute or two because... At that three minute mark, for some reason, I get like I lose that little the fire that I had when I first started the bench or whatever movement. So bench is what we're talking about. But I lose that fire. So I don't like to do that. But for you, you know, you might be able to you might want to do something else. So do you. Um, and that's pretty much it. I also have more questions on here. I'm going to link out to this page in the YouTube video. So if you have any questions, don't forget to reach out to me and I will put them on here. The whole channel, the whole all of this is to give out information for free to ask, find to have a localized place to find it to for information for beginner athletes or anyone who wants any type of um, athletic information so if you, if you have anything don't forget to reach out and more videos like this will be in the coming in the future and subscribe and like this video if it helped you in any way all right thank you peace